Welcome back to the Easy Med channel where medical and science topics are made easy. Today we're going to focus on the pediatric milestones for speech and language, and I came up with a simple trick that will help you remember these milestones because they commonly show up on medical exams. I also put together this table to make it easier for you, and we're going to come back to this table so you don't need to worry about it right now. But by the end of this video, you'll know everything shown, so make sure to stay tuned till the end. There's also a previous Easy Med video on the pediatric milestones for gross motor development. I'm going to link that milestone video along with this table down below in the description, so make sure to check them out. The first major milestone occurs at three months, and you're going to see that all of the speech and language milestones can be remembered using the age of the child. So the trick to remember three months is to use the three-letter word ku. So whenever you think of three months, you should automatically think of ku. By this age, the infant makes cooing sounds. They also start to smile at people and make eye contact. They begin to recognize your voice, and they may even stay quiet or smile when spoken to. They're going to cry differently for different needs. For example, if they're hungry versus tired, those crying sounds might be different. And they also vocalize pleasure and displeasure sounds differently. For example, they laugh and giggle as a way to communicate happiness, and they cry and fuss as a way to communicate when they're upset. I do want to point out that as we walk through these different milestones, remember that they're average time frames and that some milestones can occur sooner or later. But for the purposes of this video, these are the milestone time frames that may come up on medical exams. Next, we have six months. Again, we're going to use the age to remember the milestone. So for six months, remember the six-letter word babble. By this age, the infant starts to babble and repeat sounds. They may babble mama or dada without much meaning, and that's because the repetitive consonant sounds they tend to produce first when babbling are B, D, G, M, P, and T. The infant will also continue to giggle and laugh more. They'll start to make gurgling noises, and they will also use their own voice to express pleasure and displeasure. This is different from three months. Remember at three months, they would use laughing, crying, and fussing to vocalize and communicate pleasure versus displeasure. Well, by six months, they may start to use their own voice and use speech-like babbling sounds to express when they're happy or upset. Finally, the infant notices and recognizes sounds more. They may move their eyes in the direction towards sound, they may pay attention to music, and they respond to changes in the tone of your voice. Moving on to nine months, we're going to use the age again to remember the milestone. The nine-letter word to remember for nine months is imitation. This is the start of the baby's imitation phase. They will imitate speech and non-speech sounds, and they will also imitate actions and gestures. They may gesture without being prompted to by pointing to objects and showing them to others. They also look at familiar objects when someone is talking about them, and the infant starts to recognize their own name. The baby's babbling increases, and they start to string longer babbling sounds together. Next is 12 months of age, and using the age, we're going to take the 1 and 2 and 12 to remember 1 to 2 words. By 12 months of age, the child usually can say 1 to 2 words. This could be in addition to mama and dada, and their vocabulary could be even larger depending on the child. Their use of mama and dada has more meaning to it now. Remember during the babel phase, they can say mama and dada without much meaning. However, by 12 months of age, they start to bring meaning to it. You can also think of the 12-month milestone as the understanding phase, and you can remember that using the 12-letter phrase, understand me. They begin to understand anywhere from 3 to 50 words, they begin to bring meaning to their vocabulary, and they begin to understand simple phrases, instructions, requests, and commands, such as put the toy on the ground, come here, and don't touch. Along those same lines, the child may start to understand and answer simple questions non-verbally by nodding and shaking their head. Or they might go to get an object when requested to do so, which makes sense because again they're starting to understand simple instructions as mentioned before. Finally, they understand and recognize the names and words for common items such as ball, shoe, cup, juice, and dog. This understanding phase is a process and everything listed here won't happen right at 12 months of age. However, 12 months is when they start to develop these speech and language skills, and they continue to develop those skills throughout their second year of life. As we move on to 18 months, we can again use the age to remember the milestone of 18 words. This will help you remember that by 18 months, the child on average will have a vocabulary of 10 to 20 words. Around 18 months or soon after, the child may have a word spurt in which their vocabulary drastically increases to 50 words. The child also starts to repeat words overheard in conversation. They also become more interactive with their understanding. They recognize and point to familiar objects and people in pictures. They point to pictures in a book when you name them, 
and they point to familiar body parts like eyes, ears, and nose when you ask. As we mentioned before, with 12 months, they continue to develop their understanding and ability to follow simple commands like put the toy down or roll the ball. And they continue to understand more simple questions like where's your cup or where are your shoes? Next, we have two years of age. The two can be used to remember the milestone of two word phrases. The child would begin to use two word phrases in order to talk about or ask for things. They will put two words together like more milk, no juice, or daddy book. And they will ask two word questions like where's doggy, where's kitty, go bye bye, or what's that? Keeping in line with using the number two, you can remember that by two years of age, they will start following two step directions, such as pick up your toy and give it to mommy. They may have a vocabulary of 50 words or more, however the pronunciation is often unclear. The parents and primary caregiver usually can understand at least half of the speech. The child may also use gestures and words during pretend play, and they also start to make animal sounds. Moving on to three years old, we can use a similar trick as we did for two to remember two word phrases. Now for three years old, we'll remember three word phrases. The child will begin to use three word phrases in order to talk about and ask for things. By age three, the vocabulary can be 200 words or more. And not only does their vocabulary expand, but their grammar and pronunciation also improve. Their speech becomes more clear, especially to the parents or primary caregiver. They begin to ask what and where type questions. And they understand spatial concepts such as in, on, or under, as well as concepts involving different colors and time. The child will understand and use more pronouns such as you, me, him, or her. And they will also understand and use plurals such as cats, dogs, shoes, and socks. Finally, we have four years old. The trick to remember this milestone is four or more word sentences. The child will use sentences with at least four words and they will also use four or more sentences at a time when talking about their day or telling a story. They have a deeper understanding of more abstract concepts and will understand and ask how and why type questions. Along those same lines, they will start to express their ideas and feelings rather than just talking about the world around them. They talk more about their day and activities at school, daycare, or home. Parents and caregivers will understand most, if not all, of their speech, and strangers can typically understand the child without much difficulty. They typically can identify colors by this age, and this often happens even sooner, and they can usually group objects into different categories such as food or clothes. Now it's time to quiz yourself and see if you can name the milestone trick that correlates with each age. Starting with three months, what did we say was the trick to remember? It was the three-letter word coup to help you remember the infant coups at this age. So for three months, always think of the word coup. Moving on to six months of age, what did we say the trick was? It was the six letter word babble to help you remember the infant babbles at this age. So for six months, always think of the word babble. Next is nine months. Try to name the trick for this. You're gonna use the nine letter word imitation and this will help you remember the imitation phase in which they imitate speech and non-speech sounds, actions and gestures. So for nine months, always think of imitation. Moving on to 12 months, what did we say the trick was? You're going to take the 1 and 2 in 12 months to help you remember 1 to 2 words. The child has a vocabulary of 1 to 2 words, usually in addition to mama and dada. You can also use the 12 to remember the 12-letter phrase, understand me, and this will help you remember the child starts to understand words, requests, instructions, commands, and questions. As we progress to 18 months, name the trick for this. It's 18 words, which will help you remember that they have a vocabulary of 10 to 20 words, which rapidly increases to 50 or more words as they approach two years old. Next, we have two years of age. So what's the trick for this? The trick to remember is two word phrases, which will help you recall that by two years of age, the child starts to put two words together in order to talk about or ask for things. The two can also be used to remember two-step directions, and this will help you recall that the child can understand and respond to two-step instructions. Moving on to three years old, what's the milestone? The trick to remember is three word phrases, which will help you recall that by three years of age, the child starts to put three words together in order to talk about or ask for things. Finally, we have four years old. What's the trick to remember? At four years of age, the child uses four or more word sentences and uses four or more sentences when telling a story or talking about their day. So if we go back to the table I put together, you can see that it summarizes everything we talked about, including the speech and language milestones for each age, along with the tricks to remember them all. You can find this table linked down below in the description. If you found this video useful along with the table and tricks, then please hit that like button and comment down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe. This will save you time studying and reviewing, and you don't want to miss out on future videos that make medical topics easy. Remember, you can find the notes and table for this video on the EasyMed website linked below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check out future videos.